Well, we're getting here at the end of May. We had that great trip to Germany. I've got the boat ready, and tomorrow I'm actually going to depart to the Bahamas for some on the water and underwater adventures and research. But today, we're gonna take a look at the new jellyfish system going up. Oh, hey, Ollie, how are you doing today? Wow, hey, buddy. The jellyfish are really growing. You can see how big these guys are getting here. A lot larger jellyfish now. System is doing fantastic. And we're growing more and more jellyfish as we need to for the larger big aquariums. The island divider tank here that I used to bring to trade shows is up and running. This jellyfish aquarium is doing spectacular as well. And our new jellyfish system is almost ready to get going. Let's go take a look at it. I always walk this fast, that's a fact. Can't get anything done if you don't move. You don't want to go slow. So the whole rack has been under construction for at least a month, maybe five weeks. All the acrylic tanks are up now, even the big one on the end. All the sumps are in underneath. We've got the eFlow Deltec pumps underneath. We've got a sponge basket to put our seeded sponges underneath here as well. And Buddy wanted to go ahead and do a lot of pre-plumbing. So you can tell here, this is a lot of work. All the Unistrut here holding the drain lines. The return lines go off and they manifold to the gate valves up on the top. This is a really extensive jellyfish system. Every tank is removable. And you can see even the plumbing all the way down to the end. So you have your smaller chrysals here. This would be for the juveniles as they're growing. And then you take them from the smaller vessels, some down on the bottom that are air driven. These are driven by water flow. These are driven by water flow. And then you have your bigger ones. So there's four of these larger chrysals that are about 30 gallons a piece that sit here. And then we have eight that fit here. I got three more of them coming right now. So you're gonna have a dozen of the larger chrysal tanks. And you have, what is that right there? There's five, there's nine of the smaller ones here. And then the big Mac Daddy, which is a larger custom one that I designed and we client moved and they gave us the tank back. This one I can house some really big jellyfish in and keep probably 80 of them in stock at a time. But we've got really big sumps. There's a lot more flow. The space is optimized and it's all in this 80 20 aluminum, which is super nice, really put together super well. Inside the room, they've actually got it ready too. It just pays to have all this done in advance. We don't expect that this system will be taken down for the next 10 years. Let's go inside and take a look at it. So he's putting FRP, he's got the FRP board there, and the guys have cleaned the wall off now. So he's cleaned it all the way off. We're getting FRP, we're gonna put that all the way down the whole length. We're gonna pre-put the power in on this end and on that end, on the other side of the aquarium too. But this is now gonna be the jellyfish production wall with the brand new system operating. It's gonna be super awesome and we're gonna be able to produce, I don't know, tens of thousands of jellyfish on an annual basis on this side and then we'll start working on that side again too. So it is really coming along. Even got some green water growing now too. And our big water tanks up here, one for jellyfish on this side at 1023 specific gravity, one at 1026 reef gravity over here. So we have even a lot more water on tap. This is gonna be one heck of a jellyfish system and we look forward to get it operational very soon. Another successful move by Reef Aquarium Design and Jellyfish Art. Thank you to Alex and Buddy for making it happen. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'm gonna go hunting some jellyfish. And that's how it's done. Okay.